Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with GetOnStream.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a keyboard and mouse overlay on your stream so that your viewers can see exactly what keys and buttons and mouse clicks you are pushing on your screen. So obviously, if you want to like show your stream some of the crazy things that you're doing on your keyboard or some of the crazy moves you're doing and flicks with your mouse, we can do that and show them using this tool. So let's just jump straight into this. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big like. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We're trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of summer. So let's go ahead and jump in here and show you exactly what you need to do. First thing we need to do is download a third party tool from GitHub. I'll leave the link to that down below in the description, but it's called no board and it's super easy to download you just want to click this right here once you've clicked that it will download in your downloads and you will have to extract everything in this folder as it is a zip folder so i'm just going to click extract all right here i'm just going to extract it to my downloads folder and once you've done that it's going to open up again and you're going to see a couple of different files so you can see no board in here inside this folder you will have to open up this application every time you want to show this keyboard and mouse on your screen so we're just going to go ahead and open up this application right here and whenever it opens it's going to open up like this it's just going to be a little blue tile on your screen first thing we want to do is right click and there's some settings here that you can check out i just leave everything as default you don't really need to change anything in here but if you right click and click load keyboard, you're gonna see all of these different categories in a dropdown. There's quite a few different ones here that look all of these different ways depending on what you want to use. But the one that we want to use is this JOS07YT and you'll see what it looks like. You can clearly see the mouse right here and then the keyboard, if I hit some buttons on the keyboard, you can see that it is moving there. So I'm gonna select that. Once you've selected that, there's a couple of different options here. You can see that this one looks pretty much like the Razer mouse, the exact one that I'm using here. Uh, and then we've got the keyboard. So this is the one that I like to use, just clean black, clean white. All we have to do is close that. And you can see as I move my mouse, this little thing right here moves and like shows you the direction that your mouse is going. And then if I hit stuff, the keyboard lights up as well. So how do we add this to our Streamlabs? So what you want to do is open up your Streamlabs and then add this to whatever scene you want to add it to. For example, I'm just going to add it to live scene right here and I'm going to click the plus and add new source. Right here, we're going to select window capture and we're going to capture the window off no board. So I'm just going to select window capture. I'm going to click add source and I'm going to call this no board just so I can identify it easily. And then in here in the window section, we just want to scroll down to no board version 1.3. Yours might be a different version if it's updated since this video. And then we just select done. But obviously there's a clear problem here. We've got this bright green background, which we really don't want when we're on stream. You probably want to maybe put this underneath your face cam or something like that out of the web, but still where users can see it. So what we need to do now is chroma key out the background. So you want to right click on this, go to filters, and in filters, just select the plus right here and then scroll down to the very bottom and select chroma key, click done, and you'll see that the background is now removed. We don't need to edit anything in here. We can leave everything as the default. Click done and you're now ready to go. So you want to leave this program open when you're gaming, when you're doing anything, just leave that open. You can put it over on another screen, just have it in the background. It doesn't need uh, to be seen on screen because it's doing a window capture. So even if it's behind other windows, it won't cause any issues. And you'll see, you know, exactly all of the keys that are being pressed here as I am typing on my keyboard. So that's essentially it. You can now show your chat, your viewers, how you go ahead and play the game and maybe do some of them crazy movements that you're doing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next one.